Does your well or lake water clog your plumbing fixtures and your washing machine screen? Are you you're losing flow and you're losing pressure because of all this clogging? Are you concerned that, that that dirt and that sediment in your water may end up clogging your water softener and doing permanent damage to your iron filter, your ultraviolet disinfection system? Is it clogging the fine filter before your ultraviolet disinfection system? In this video, I'm gonna show you the cheapest and the best way to get rid of that dirt from your water for your family, starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're, you're a do-it-yourself homeowner, a plumber, or a water filtration specialist, this video is for you. There's a number of ways that you can remove a sediment or dirt from your water, and I'm gonna explain the pros and the cons of each one so you can decide which one works best for your family. Also, I suggest you watch this video right to the end because I've got a great tip that'll save you a lot of frustration when getting rid of dirt or sediment from your well or lake water. So the cheapest way to remove dirt from your water is you can just use a simple sediment filter like one of these. Polypropylene filters that are available in different microns. You can go with a coarse one that's 50 microns. You can go with finer ones that are five or one micron. Uh, we've even got some great filters that are dual gradient filters where the coarser, mic coarser uh, filter on the outside and a finer filter in, in the inside. I've got a link to a video that I'll put in the description down below where you can definitely want to check that out. The problem with those filters is, especially if you have a lot of sediments in your water it's a compromise right if you go with a, a coarse one then the the finer particles will still get through and then you're still going to have to deal with that if you go with a uh, fine one well it's going to clog too quickly so you can go with um so although that's a very inexpensive solution a lot of those filters uh, sometimes are less than ten dollars if you get a multiple pack of them but like I say, you're gonna be replacing them all the time. And that may not be what you wanna do. So another option is a spin down filter. That's one of these guys here. So basically they're installed um, as the water line comes from the well before the pressure tank. So the water flows in this side, flows out that side, the dirt accumulates inside here, and then you open this up to centrifugally spin the water inside to flush the water out of the bottom. So they're a, they're a great solution, but the, about the finest spin down filter you're gonna find is 60 microns, which for most families just isn't fine enough. So you could go with a combination. You can go with a spin down filter and then add the sediment filter after that to do some of the fine filtering. And a lot of folks do that, but you're still gonna have a fair amount of maintenance with that. So another option that works for a lot of families is going with an automatic backwashing filter like this Hume automatic sediment filter. And basically how it works is it's connected up to your plumbing, goes after the pressure tank as the water flows through the dirt accumulates inside then after three or four days of use it goes through a backwash cycle to flush out all that dirt and flushes it all to the drain great system because there's no filters to change it just every three days goes through the cycle and uh, it makes life a lot easier so in a lot of uh, homeowners that are on well water that have ultraviolet disinfection systems for example they'll install one of these after the pressure tank and then go to a, a fine five micron filter like one of these just before the uh, ultraviolet light and then it goes on from there super low maintenance because this is going to do all the heavy lifting I've got a great YouTube video that goes into more detail how these systems work. I'll put a link in the description down below. You definitely want to check that out. So someone may suggest to you, hey, why not a water softener? A water softener backwashes won't do the same thing as these automatic backwashing filters. It won't. In fact, you'll actually end up clogging the water softener. Same goes for a tannin filter. You'll actually end up clogging them. So what about a chemical injection system? Yeah, you may have heard that uh, there are chemical injection systems out there that use a chemical that's called the flocculant. And that flocculant combines the, the particles in the water, sort of groups them together so that the media inside these uh, filters can... Uh, can can store them up and then flush them out well chemical injection systems are no longer used for that because these systems will filter down to a very fine five micron so we, we've typically gotten totally out of the chemical injection systems that use flocculants and by the way if you're looking for more information on these hume automatic backwashing sediment filters you can go to our websites either watereastore.com in the us or watereastore.ca in canada we offer free shipping and discount pricing i'll put a link in the description down below 
So what's the cheapest and the best sediment filtration for your family? Well, if you don't mind going with several of the sediment filters, going with a coarser one to a medium one to a finer one, that may be the best route for you if you don't mind changing those filter cartridges fairly often. Going with a spin down filter before the uh, pressure tank and then going with a fine uh, sediment filter just before your ultraviolet disinfection system is also a good solution, but it does require more maintenance. And remember that spin down is a very coarse filter. A lot of folks go with the um, automatic backwashing filters and uh, that's that's definitely a good solution and uh, very, very low maintenance. That's the beauty of those systems and a lot of folks really appreciate that. What do you definitely want to avoid? You want to definitely want to avoid using a carbon filter. A carbon filter is a taste and odor filter, but that sediment will clog it very, 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 very easily. Click here for my next video on water filtration, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all. I'd love to answer yours.